All right, guys, today we're going to be talking about the CZP10C versus the Glock 19. And this is going to be kind of part two or a follow up, kind of talking about my carry, use, and opinion on these two very similar handguns, uh, very similar price pointed handguns, and really pretty serious competitive options with the CZP10C. So I've had both of these guns, or I've actually had a Glock 19 for definitely a very long time. This is actually one of my newer Glock 19s. I have had uh, several over the course of the years, and this one is pretty similar to previous ones. This is a Gen 4, but this one's kind of customized, as you guys can see, with a custom barrel, custom slide, you know, red dot on it. So this one's a little bit aftermarket, and I thought that would actually be a pretty good comparison against... That'd be a pretty good comparison against the CZP-10C. And while this one is definitely more stock and definitely older, as you can tell by the Ambi Mag release there, um, they've definitely made a number of um, they've definitely made a number of kind of updates to the CZP-10C that I thought I would talk about and explain or kind of talk about and talk, and see you know which one is still. And see which one is a great option or which one is the better option to buy in this day and age. So in my original video talking about both of these or really talking about the CZP-10C, um, I talked about essentially, you know, if you want a gun that's good to go out of the box and something that you're not really going to customize a lot, the CZP-10C is the way to go. And I still think that for the most part, that's pretty true. You know, the lack of, or I should say the Factory options will never be the same with a CZ as they will with a Glock. Of course, even just taking a look at things like magazines, you know, there are dozens of people that manufacture aftermarket Glock mags, and Glock mags are utilized in things like PCCs, uh, of course, Glocks, and plenty of other, even handguns, you know, things like the clones of Glocks utilize Glock mags, and other handguns as well in general. So when talking about it, like the Glock, as far as versatility goes and aftermarket acceptance, the Glock is the gold standard for it. And so, unfortunately, when it comes to guns like the CZP-10C or even the FN-509, which are great guns in their own right, I own an FN-509C, I own, of course, a CZP-10C. And so, you know, I own these different guns and they're great in their own rights, but as far as aftermarket goes, really can't beat a Glock, unfortunately. Now, I will say the cool thing is after a few years of kind of innovation with the Glocks, the CZ, at least with the P10C, they do offer um, kind of MOS versions of this, basically optics ready, you know, uh, slides that are cut and ready to go for red dot sights, which is really awesome to see. Um, the only thing that I'm kind of a little bit skeptical of is of course the aftermarket factory or the aftermarket acceptance for suppressor height sights to co-witness with your red dot. You would definitely want to make sure that you can do that or find an option for suppressor height sights because I don't believe that the uh, optics ready versions of the CZP-10C come with those. But outside of that, you know, having that option to immediately go for, you know, an optics ready handgun is pretty cool. And I think that that does allow <clears throat> does allow you a little bit more option for your handgun. And once again, coming with the fact that, in my opinion at least, and I think in a lot of people's opinion, that the CZP-10C has a out-of-box better trigger, out-of-box better sights, out-of-box better ergonomics than the Glock uh, style of handguns, and the Glock 19 especially, definitely gives this guy a leg up. In addition to, it already has the Ambi slide release and Ambi mag release, which even still Gen 5 Glocks still don't have Ambi, Ambi mag releases. So definitely things to consider or keep in mind when it comes to, you know, buying a CZP-10C. And I think that as far as the CZP-10C goes, uh, it does make a really valiant case against the Glock because still, even to this day, when you can find them, of course, guns are a little bit hard to come by nowadays, especially the ones that we want to buy. Um, but as far as it goes, you know, when it comes down to guns, I still think that the CZP-10C is a little bit better because of its lower MSRP and then considering, like I said, better out-of-box trigger, better out-of-box sights, better out-of-box controls, such as, you know, Ambi mag release, Ambi slide release, which things like the uh, Gen 4 Glocks, 
didn't have. And once again, the Gen 5 or Gen 4.5 Glocks do have ambi slide releases, but still no ambi mag release on them. So definitely things to consider when it comes to the Glock. Now, let's actually talk about this Glock. I've been holding that CZP-10C up for a while. Now, the big thing that I will say that I do really love about the Glock outside of its near infinite customization as you can see this one's a pretty good example you got a flared mag wells you know you got a flared mag well extended slide release you know aftermarket barrel aftermarket slide really nice um rmr red dot sight on it so this guy is decked and ready to go but uh the big things that i will say outside of customizations that i think the clock has for it absolutely are the reliability is a little bit higher with the glock um, i'm not gonna lie especially the earlier generations and iterations of the p10c had their own hang-ups and even my gen 2 uh, has a really sticky slide or um mag release to it so while it is ambi it is definitely especially with like a full magazine it's definitely something that you have to commit to pushing out that magazine it does not just you know pop right out when you just press that uh, mag release so that is a little bit of a disadvantage but the overall like the quality of the gun is good but it is just lacking a little bit of polish around the edges that the glock definitely has and has had for a very long time in addition to something that i think is important to uh, remember or keep in mind and i'm gonna try to show you guys here um, is the overall frame lengths on these two handguns are pretty noticeable that um, when you hold them up side by side hopefully you guys can see here like slide to slide the czp 10 c is noticeably longer it's probably about a half inch longer especially because of this weird kind of you know uh, protrusion by the handle or kind of the back strap of the handle it's kind of weird i don't know why they chose to go for that but the big problem with that is that you have a much longer handle but the same exact magazine capacity as the glock 19 and so the glock 19 is a little bit smaller a little bit more compact and while i will say that the p 10 c is a little bit easier or potentially you might say nicer to handle to handle to hold and to shoot uh, when it really comes down to a compact handgun because both of these are essentially compact handguns that's why c is in the name of the p10c and the glock 19 is just the glock 19 but they are compact handguns and what that means is that they should be designed with smaller size in mind and so while i don't necessarily dislike the um and so while I don't necessarily dislike the handgun uh, or the frame size of the P10C, it definitely is a detractor when you consider that these are guns that you are supposed to be concealed carrying. So you don't want necessarily something super large or protruding out of uh, whatever kind of over, you know, clothing that you're trying to use to conceal the handgun. So that's something that I do dislike about it. And that's kind of inherently built into the P10C, regardless to what generation you get. They are they are just longer framed and uh yeah it's just been a big disadvantage for me i liked a little bit smaller especially because with the p10c i'm not gaining any extra capacity with that longer frame slot size okay so in closing which one should you buy now that the cz p10c is up to date with if you do if you can find the optics ready version of the p10c's well for me i'm still definitely a glock fan and for me it's also partly that i like the grip angle on a glock i feel like it's really fits me like a glove and i just shoot glocks very well i have a bunch of them have had a bunch of them and uh, i really do just like glocks in general in addition to the overwhelming ability to customize and modify a glock to make it whatever you need it to be uh, or to fit you know whatever type of carry or situations environments whether it's you know dark outside uh, or stuff like that the glock is pretty much endlessly modifiable whereas the cc <laughs> the czp 10 c definitely does have its limitations however i will say that i think largely it still goes back to if you want a gun that's pretty much ready to rock right out of the right out of the box and you want a gun that you don't have to put a lot of modifications into to make it feel like a natural shooter the czp 10 c is still really good i would recommend if you could find it go for an optics ready version of them because then all you have to do is put an optic on it and you still have that great trigger 
the good sights. You have that ambi slide release, ambi mag release. And uh, yeah, it's a really, really solid gun. And I will say that the ergonomics for this gun are, I would say probably the best of the price range if you don't like Glocks. Now, once again, like I said, I personally fall more in line with Glock, but I've heard many people and know many people personally who own P10Cs and love the ergonomics. And I will say that with these ergonomics or with the grip, it really does put your hand really kind of almost behind this slide. So you feel like you have a very high bore axis or you do have a higher bore axis than a Glock. Um, so your hand is really pretty darn close to that uh, bore which is good, that's what you want, um, and it's a really good shooter. Now, personally, it's not my for favorite for ergonomics, but I still can absolutely make the P10C work for me, and I do like carrying it, I do carry it, I do like carrying it, I do carry it, and uh, it is just fine for me to shoot, I do like it, and arguably, it does have better ergonomics, arguably. Now, like I said, now, like I said, the biggest reason why I'm sticking with my Glock is just because one, I do have this one heavily customized and set up just the way that I want it to be set up. This is literally the way I would choose to have it if I could have it this way. So there's not a whole lot of reason for me to go to something that's far more basic uh, than this. But uh, yeah, I definitely love my Glocks and I'm gonna be sticking with Glock, but CZP 10 cs are pretty awesome, and I'm glad to see that they are regularly renewing or updating the guns to keep them you know, modernized so that you can get things such as red dot sights equipped right out of box. Anyways, guys, hopefully you enjoyed the video. As always, God bless, and I'm out.